We at the WPT cherish our role as the storytellers of this industry, striving always to capture the humanity of poker, its highs, its lows, its perils and passions, both on and off the felt. Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin Howe and welcome to the first installment of WPT's Legacy Through Art series here at the Chihuly Gallery in Aria Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let us use the reflective power of art in painting, in photography, in word to shine a light on the people and characters in which we've been blessed to share this colorful community and remarkable journey. It's new, it's unique because it's kind of fusion between art, poker and video. First of all, it is great to be here with Mike. We realize we've been together for 15 years doing this show. I mean, that's, that's longer than I've actually seen my wife. Still at the top of the field, still the only two guys that are the most recognizable people in poker world. I'm so thrilled because he deserves it. He and Mike Sexton are both amazing. They changed the game of poker. They were the groundbreaking duo in the very beginning of it all 15 years ago when they first started showing poker hands. And he's such a great guy, my husband and Mike too. But um, they really deserve this acknowledgement. Well, the World Poker Tour obviously changed the poker world forever. And to have been a part of that along with Vince since the day one of the World Poker Tour has been very special. We've seen poker grow not only in America, but globally. And it's just been fantastic. The vision that Steve Lipscomb had to create the World Poker Tour, followed by the leadership of Adam Pliska, who's taken it globally now. It's just remarkable, and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. And uh, it's just been such a great honor to work with Vince all these years, in fact, as well. I don't know, but I hope there's some kind of theme to it. I hope it's kind of funny, because art should also be a little bit funny. And, uh, I mean, we respect Mike and Vince so much, and they're so lovable. And, yeah, I think it'd be interesting to see them as, I don't know, like vampires or <laughs> werewolves or we something. We have seen some monsters roaming around here. So yes, far. there is a minotaur over there. That's weird, but I love it. To be honest, I thought it would just be a portrait of Mike and Vince. So the fact that it was like this artistic interpretation of the poker world was really fascinating. I really like the Minotaur representing fear. But when I first saw it, I was like, oh, are like Mike and Vince playing for their souls against the devil? <laughs> so it took me a while to actually look at the painting and realize, oh, like this is really, really interesting. I thought it was great to celebrate Mike with a with a crazy picture. And he's one of my oldest friends and done so much for poker. And uh, it's just a... Uh, First time I've ever seen him stuck for words. If you notice, for like a minute, he was like choking with a bit of a tear in his eye. And uh, everyone just loves him. He must be like one of the most top, most popular people in the in the world in poker. I mean, I think it is so cool the idea of bringing art and poker together. It's different. It's new. It's very extreme. And you know, I think it's really it's fun. And for them, looking for the future of what poker has to offer, for it to bring in all kinds of different. You know, bring in art, bring in music, bring in everything. Let's all let's all come together as this sort of like outsider community. But then also just perfectly uh, portray the comedic sides of Mike and Vince that we all know so well. You know, Mike and Vince have been extraordinary partners, brothers throughout many years now. With Mike, Vince, and the thousands of people who have been a part of our story for WPT. The best is always yet to come.